Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Let's get a light. Let's get a light going here. ba -da. All right, today we're going to take a look at some Shining Spear conversions. So, here's the deal. Uh, first off, these are Ulthway variant color scheme with the bone and black and red. And really, this is just sort of a variant on the white, black, and red color scheme that really is, is so strident. And of course with Ulthway it goes like, like white to bone. And these have like skull type things on their hoods. So anyway, uh, Games Workshop finally redid the Eldar jet bike. Let me get some stuff. By the way, I do have a tripod. Uh, the only thing is to focus really well, I have to be at a distance. And so there's always sort of that little wobble with that. Like the camera's like a foot away from this model right now. Anyway, there's the new one. Here's an old one that I pulled out of stock for comparison. And quite frankly, the new jet bikes are like a zillion times better. However, they have not updated the Shining Spear. So here's an easy Shining Spear conversion you can do. Uh, Wraith Guard have lots of extra parts to them. So we just grabbed the uh, tip of a D cannon to make a laser lance. This is a Dire Avenger Exarch arm. And then on the back of his helmet, we put a arm blade from the Wraith Guard kit. And then this is the same thing, but I do believe uh, it's, it's another piece. It's from the it's from the Harlequins, but again an extra piece. And then that became that became our Star Lance. So a very simple yet effective conversion for Shining Spears. And it really makes them look unique and it's really easy to do and pick up the bits. In fact, I have these parts on hand in case you want me to convert some up for you. So uh, check the liner notes for an email that you can contact us to set up a project, large or small. Uh, low or high level of painting and uh, we can get it done for you. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.